The title of this presentation is Classic or Popular Types of Golf Course Holes Used on Golf Courses. My name is Carl Dannerberger. A cape hole describes a golf hole where water runs along one side of the fairway to the green. The fairway slightly curves along the water, but is not a dogleg hole. The green itself is surrounded by water on three sides. It is believed the original cape hole was designed by C.B. McDonald at National Golf Links. This rendition was done by a former student, Katarina Pock, and diagrams of 14th hole at National Golf Links. This hole is located at Sea Pines in Hilton Head, South Carolina. It's a classic example of a cape hole. From the tee, you can see the water runs along the left side. From the tee, the golfer has the option of trying to cut off as much distance as possible, but increasingly risk the potential of hitting the ball into the water. Most cape holes are par fours. Here's that same hole viewing back toward the green. Notice the green is surrounded by three sides of water. The Eden type of golf holes are medium length par threes, which would fall in the 160 to 180 yards in length. The green is sloped from back to front with two huge bunkers guarding the front of the green. The original Eden hole is the 11th hole at St. Andrews which is a par three, 172 yard hole. The green slopes steeply from back to front. It is protected by two bunkers, named the hill bunker on the left and the strath bunker on the right. The strath bunker is a pop bunker and is in true sense, Eden holes that are copied into golf course designs have a pot bunker. This is the 11th hole at St. Andrews too, but the photograph shown here is a little more panoramic in nature. This is Seth Rayner's and C.B. McDonald's version of the Eden Hole at the Greenbrier in West Virginia. The Eden Hole green at the Greenbrier tilts from back to front, but not as severe as the original. But the two bunkers are positioned similarly to the original Eden Hole. As the name implies, the short hole is a par three of relatively short distances, often between 120 to 130 yards. Generally, the green contours are the most complex found on the golf course. Sand usually surrounds the elevated green, giving the green an island look. The original short hole, diagrammed here, is believed to be the fifth at Royal West Norfolk. An example of a short hole here in the United States is the 18th at the Greenbrier. From the 18th tee, the short hole has a relatively small green, which is usually wider than deep, flanked and surrounded by bunkers. The green is elevated. The contours on the green can be exaggerated or complex. In this case, a horseshoe shaped hump runs through the middle of the green. The effect is to put a premium on the short iron shot. Clear the mound, in this case, to where the pin is located, gives you a great chance at birdie. To leave it short or to the right results in a difficult putt to negotiate over or along the hump. Some other famous short holes include the 123-yard par 3 at Royal Trone, known for its postage stamp green. Because of the small green, where the ball can easily fall off into one of the large bunkers or hollows. The seventh hole at Pebble Beach is another example of a short hole design that measures, in this case, 106 yards. But notice too, the green is surrounded by sand. A variation of the short hole is shown here, the par 3, 132 yards, 17th, at TPC Sawgrass. In this case, water has replaced sand to give the hole a true island look. A Baritz hole, more specifically a Baritz green, is bisected by a deep gully in the middle of the green. The original hole was the third on a 
par three at the Baritz Golf Club in France. Willie Dunn Jr., before moving to the United States to design Shinnecock, was involved with his brother in designing the Baritz Golf Club. An artistic rendition of the Baritz Hole, and more specifically again, the green, is shown here. Seth Rayner and C.B. McDonald incorporated a Baritz style green in some of their designs. For example, a Baritz hole exists at the Greenbrier. This par three at the Greenbrier is medium to long in length. You may be able to make out the gully that cuts through the middle of the green. Here you see the classic look of the Baritz. It is important to get your shot to the right portion of the green or a difficult long putt through the gully could result. Bunkers flank the green to protect the two sections of the green bisected by the gully. The Alps hole was a popular on old courses through Scotland, England, and Ireland. An Alps hole has a large hill or mound that blocks the view of the green. Between the hill and the green is normally a cross bunker. Most Alp holes are par fours, but there may be par fives. Although the most challenging shot, also the most rewarding, is to hit over the hill to the green. An alternative safer route around the hill or mound exists. The original Alps hole is the 17th at Prestwick, which was designed by old Tom Morris. Here the green is protected by a bunker situated between the green and a large mound that would be located to the left of the bunker, which is not visible in this photograph. At La Hinch Golf Club in Ireland, old Tom Morris designed the fourth hole, known as the Klondike, as an Alps type hole. Here on the tee of this par five, you can see the 35 foot high sand dune in the background, which blocks or protects the green located behind the dune. C.B. McDonald designed the third hole at National Golf Links as an Alps hole. From the tee, you can see the hill located straight ahead on this par four. Looking over the hill, you can see the cross bunker that protects the green. In this case, when I took this picture, the green was being core cultivated and sand top dressed. The original 11 hole was believed to be the seventh at Levin Lynx Golf Club in Scotland. The hole is a short par four that requires a heroic type of tee shot to an area in the fairway that will provide an open look to the green. A safer route or shot will result in a second shot that is either blind or semi-blind. The 17th at National Golf Links is an example of a Levin hole. A rather short hole that requires a heroic type of tee shot to carry to the flat open area of the fairway. A safer route toward where the two guys are walking will leave a semi-blind shot. Along the safer route, the green is located behind the sand hill that is the cause of the semi-blind shot. The next presentation will be the second part of the classic golf holes.